Dr. J. Alexander is a retired IS officer. He's former chief secretary and cabinet minister of Karnataka state. Uh, he was born in Mangad in Kollam district of Kerala state uh, in a middle class family, one out of seven children. His early education was in Kollam until he finished his BA in English language and literature. After that, he did his MA in English, English literature right. for University College in Trivandrum. And he did his PhD in philosophy from Karnataka University. So very good grounding in all of the all of the subjects that are close to our heart, philosophy and, and English literature, which I think uh, gives you the best basis to understand all humanity. So he started his career as a lecturer in English in Fatima uh, Mata National College in Kolam. And then he joined the Indian Administrative Service where he was all allotted to the Karnataka State IAS cadre. He served for 33 years in various departments, rising to district commissioner and then district magistrate, uh, the revenue commissioner of Karnataka State, chairman of Karnataka State Revenue Appellate Tribunal. He was also commissioner and chief executive of Bangalore City Municipal Corporation, chairman of the Bangalore Development Authority, Bangalore Water Supply and Sewerage Board, Bangalore State Urban Water Supply and Sewerage Board, the Slum Clearance Board and the Housing Board. Additionally, he has served as chief executive of Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation, as well as managing director and chairman of Mangalore Chemical okay. Chemicals. Uh, lastly, he was the chief secretary uh, of, which is the CEO of the state of Karnataka. After retirement from civil life, he felt that he hadn't given enough of himself to the betterment of society. So he joined public life and he contested elections to the Karnataka Legislative Assembly, where he became a member of the Legislative Assembly from Bharati Nagar uh, in Bangalore and was cabinet minister for tourism for Karnataka. He's currently vice president of the Karnataka Pradesh Congress Committee in Karnataka. Uh, in terms of his social commitments, he's uh, as in uh, social betterment commitments, he's been president of the Bangalore City YMCA for the last 30 years. He's an advisory board member in the Global Organization of People of Indian Origin and Board of Governors of Xavier Institute of Management and Entrepreneurship Bangalore and chairman of its branch also in Kochi. I think that is uh, it's a thumbnail overview of uh, Dr. Alexander. And I'm sure that uh, after his uh, talk is over, which is going to be on Guru and Me, uh, we may have many more questions also straying out of the subject of Guru and Me into his very, very interesting very Thank you very much, Jija. And shall I also call you thank you, Molo? Because, yes, uh, yes, Molo is fine. <laughs> thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, meet so many eminent people and say, what I have to say about uh, uh, Gurudevan. Uh, I have been introduced as a person with, with uh, such a large uh, uh, area of experience. In fact, uh, the best way to introduce my as a that uh, there is no department of the government where I have not served. I, I remember one, one of the ministers introducing me with a very interesting expression. There is an expression in Kannada, sopilla. It means there is no grass which uh, a goat has not touched. <laughs> uh, and Alexander Muttada Ilakhirilla. There are no departments which I have not touched. <laughs> I have been introduced as a retired officer, but I am a much retired man. Uh -huh. I retired in the year 1996. It is exactly 24 years. Uh, now, I come from a, a place called Mangad, which was a village when I grew up. Now it is part of the Kollam town. And we, that village was a, I would say, an ideal village where we had. Uh, members of all communities living together in great harmony. And we had a large number of uh, uh, Irava families in our area. And one of my best friends who maintains that friendship even today is uh, a retired <laughs> principal of Sri Narana College, Professor Uday Kumar. He was in our neighborhood. Now, it is from Professor Uday Kumar's house that I developed the interest in Gurudevan because they were all uh, having great reverence for Gurudevan now. And but for some time I thought it is like uh, Rama and Krishna, a god whom uh, the Yedava community worshipped. 
but a little later so and i joined college i joined college in sri narayana college a college which was inspired by gurudeva i don't know how many people know that sn college kollam sri narayana college kollam is the mother institution of all the education institutions mm. uh, run by the sri narayana trust and that is on uh, a maidan which used to be called pirangi maidan during the days of uh, british raj they used to keep a big pirangi there and it was a, a pirangi maidan and opposite that opposite that there was a guest house so one one morning he came to the veranda and seeing the sprawling maidan uh, called uh, pirangi maidan he mentioned to the person who was standing by his side oh this is a beautiful maidan very sprawling very spacious why not we have a college here a kalale a college here and that is where the idea started and a great institution education institution there and i had the privilege of doing my pre degree and graduation four years in that college our village was very close to kollam town so we students from our village used to walk to the college and in while walking we were passing through a very beautiful statue of gurudevan in the compound of srinarayana college and along with me professor uday kumar was be there so we start the college day by by offering pranam to gurudevan and that's the time when i started getting interest in knowing about uh, the life and message of we have a statement in uh, uh, bhagavad gita dharma samsthapanarthe sambhavam yuge yuge dharma samsthapanarthe sambhavam yuge when the world falls into immorality and corruption some person will be sent by god to establish righteousness and moral order dharma samsthapanarthe sambhavam yuge yuge arana guru was born at a time when kerala social structure was so bad this uh, distinctions among the castes and uh, ill treatment of uh, castes which are regarded as low or than the major classes was so bad which prompted swami vegananda to make a comment that kerala is a brandale a mental hospital mental ward that was the kind of a society in which narayana guru was born people were uh, Uh, categorized into different uh, caste that was there in in all parts of india but it was very bad in kerala and uh, the community to which uh, narayana guru was born was also discriminated against so i started getting interested in his life and his messages we in india believe in this uh, guru shish realize uh, mocha if you have to realize happiness in this in the next world we need assistance and guidance of a guru this guru shishya parampara is so sacred in our beautiful words which i refer very often ಮೂಲಂ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಪಾದ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮೂಲ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಕೃಪ it's a beautiful uh, sanskrit expression of uh, giving this message of what guru does dhyana moolam guru murti 
the guru whom you worship and you know, whom you revere is a is an object of meditation and reflection and when you uh, meditate or reflect on the the physical figure of your guru the facial expression the calmness the peace in his appearance you give a lot of you get a lot of inspiration in fact when you look at the face of the gurudevan the tremendous uh, uh, atmosphere of peace around him that is uh, when gandhi ji visited gurudevan he looked at his eyes and said he has eyes which are looking into generations here after so there is a so inspiration when we look at the body the figure of gurudevan dhyana moolam guru murti pujya moolam guru padam respecting honoring touching the feet of guru is an expression of our humility and admission of the superior knowledge and experience and wisdom of the guru pujya moolam guru padam mantra moolam guru vakyam you have to keep on repeating to yourself the vakyam the message of the guru repeat to yourself uh, then only the, you will be able to absorb the essential message of the guru and she this message one caste one religion one god one caste one religion one god it keep on repeating it puru jadi ഒരു മതം ഒരു ദൈവം മനുഷ്യന് മതമേതായാലും മതമേതായാലും മനുഷ്യൻ നന്നായ മതി അറ്റ് ടൈം ഇൻ റിലിജൻ വാസ് ബി കമേഴ്ഷ്യലൈസ്ഡ് കേരിസ് എ ഗുരു ഹു കേം ആൻഡ് സെറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ഓൺലി വൺ റിലിജൻ ദ റിലിജൻ ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമാനിറ്റി you have only one god the god of truth and uh, whatever be the religion that you practice you follow the pursuit of truth and moksha moolam guru kripa when you revere and honor a guru and repeat to yourself the valuable message that he has given then you get moksha the Uh, the real experience of bliss so that kind of a guru was uh, narayana guru and he when he started that uh, puja of arivik uh, arivik when he when he established a, a store and then a mirror all these were indication that you don't have follow the traditional uh, attitudes to religion and god that god is within you it is that message that he gave god is within you and every one of us has the spark of the divine within us and when you have that faith the spark of divine within you then you uh, then you don't distinguish between one another in uh, your daily uh, transactions in fact this is part of our indian culture uh, Uh, our word uh, namaste namaste which we do very very frequently we don't really try to understand the meaning of that i remember once in uh, united arab emirates i was invited to be the speaker in an american school and when we went there the students were arranged all american students according to their seniority and i went and greeted the first uh, child in the nursery class that child greeted me with the words namaste he could not pronounce the word namaste so i bent and asked her child what is the meaning of namaste she very boldly said hello i said it is not hello namaste does not mean hello then the teacher who taught her namaste was surprised and asked me what else is i said come to the auditorium 
when I am speaking, I will explain to you. And I talked to them saying, it was all uh, American crowd. I told them, you have heard this word, Namaste. And all of you equated with uh, the greeting, hello. But Namaste in India means much more than hello. It embodies essential feature of our culture. When we say Namaste, it is not like uh, uh, sending your hands to shake hands with the other. We fold our hands and bow before the other person. And this is an acknowledgement of the concept that there is a spark of divine in every human being. And when you greet a person Namaste, you are acknowledging the divine in him. So this single word Namaste uh, summarizes a great philosophy that we that is part of our culture. And Gurudevan was a product of this culture. And he was only to this Advaita and the feeling that uh, we are all part of uh, God. We are God. <laughs> you are God. That kind of a, a message. Which will really in terms of social transaction, it will mean that you respect each other, you love each other, you show compassion for each other, and you don't cheat each other. So Gurudevan's uh, uh, essential message was that to remove these disparities among the people on the basis of social status, on the basis of particular religion, and uh, have a society which will be what be our ancients talk about the Vasudhaiva Kudumbada. The whole world is his own family. So he was one of the apostles of this kind of a message. And I revere this guru for this message that has been given at a time when it was difficult for people to really appreciate and understand the meaning. Then we hear the words Sankhana Gunda Chaktiragya Vidya Gunda be enlightened, become enlightened through education and become strong through organization. A great uh, uh, message that has been given. Be enlightened through education. That is how the communities which were not uh, progressive in the matter of education, communities where, which were not given opportunities for education, they were given this uh, trust to value education. And he started by encouraging Sri Narayana trust to start education, schools and colleges, and uh, convey that education is an essential instrument for social development. As he said, education of the heart is the true education. And in the colleges, particularly the college where I studied, I remember, it, it was in, uh, started and uh, managed by the Srinarana Trust, but there was a total atmosphere of communal harmony. There was nothing like uh, prominence being given to any particular community at the time. Our principal was a, uh, a Brahmin, a Professor Rameya, a great uh, education. Most of the heads of department, our English department, we had Shakespeare, Vedas, and Nair. In mathematics, we had those of Vergis. In chemistry, we had Mr. Poshi. I think it was a absolutely all committed. There was, there was a Muslim uh, professor. The atmosphere in the Srinayana College where I studied had such a tremendous impact on my formation at that age. And that was all because of the inspiration of Gurudev. And I repaid it by when I came to Bangalore, when I was commissioner of the city corporation, the Srinayana Samiti people approached me saying, that they want a site for establishing a Narayana Guru center, which will be a center from which his message will be spread in this area. And I was able to choose a beautiful site, so not big, near the Alsur Lake, and I gave to them. Many people uh, criticized me for giving this to a Malayali organization. I said, it is not a Malayali organization. Narayana Guru happened to be a Malayali, but he is a Vishyog Guru. 
This is what I used to tell them. He is a Vishnu Guru. He is not a Malayali or he is not an Irava Guru. He is not a, a, a person who can be pigeonholed in any place. He has given a universal message of oneness of uh, human beings and the divinity in every human being. And he has given the message that uh, all people should organize themselves for strength and uh, value education to become enlightened. So such a person's message must be known to people in Karnataka also very well. And even today, if any of you come to this place, you will find that location of uh, the Narayana Sam, it is not a big place, but it is so centrally located and the kind of conjunction of uh, several roads. And uh, I was very privileged to be the MLA of that area after my retirement. And it so happened that every day in my visits to the constituency, I had to pass through that uh, uh, Narayana center, just like I was passing through the statue of Narayana Guru in Western College, Sri Narayana College, Kollam. I had to pass through this uh, uh, center where I was in a instrumental in giving the So my friends, I just want to say that uh, it is Siddhartha Guru should not be perceived as a, as a guru of uh, a particular community. It is true that uh, the Idava community uh, venerates him much more than uh, maybe others because he was born in that community and he's a source of pride for the community. But they must also be proud that that community, at a time when the community was being uh, neglected and uh, pushed to the backwardness, was able to produce a universal guru like Narayana Guru. And he must be known as a guru for all human beings, irrespective of caste and religion. This is my uh, message that I want to give. I, I revere that guru, and I am very happy that. Uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Jija, has taken the initiative for creating this group and sincere efforts in spreading the Gurudevan's message in areas where he was not known very well. Thank you very much. Thank you, so thank you very much. I think that is in your inimitable style. Uh, you've You've taken us through. I, I felt lulled along, like it was a story. As you as you went along, I could see, you know, the journey that you made to the college, the statue that you passed. So thank you very if much. You, but I won't. I won't. Your your time. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. That was really, really wonderful. I had heard the story before, but still, every time I hear the story, I feel so moved, and really wonderful that you came and shared that story and we are all very grateful to you for grant of that land in fact um, i had just come to karnataka and uh, my husband and i had come and met you as the commissioner of the corporation and uh, just at that time you had just uh, um, granted that uh, plot of land and you're very proud of the fact that in spite of a uh, huge opposition from uh, from your colleagues, corporators, and all that, you were able to put your foot down and grant that land to uh, Sri Narayana Samti. All of us are really, really grateful to you for that. Um, I, if uh, if the other people are asking questions, that would be good. Otherwise, before you before we close, you must tell that story of the struggle, your struggle to grant that land to us. Oh, oh, the, uh, the floor is open to questions. I'll mute myself. Hello. Uh, yes, any, any questions? No questions. Hats off to you, sir. Sorry? Sir, we are so happy to see that you have donated or sanctioned that plot of land. So, so nice of you, sir. It is my tribute to the Guru Devan. Yes. The inspiration was there in my life in my early days of formation. Okay. I have to tell you that when I hear uh, something about Guru, 
I feel that I am hearing from Guru directly. So, Mr. Alexander, thank you very much. You have touched two points, very important one, Namaste, which is my favorite one. In my society, two Maharashtians, when we meet, we say first Namaste. So, that, that is the devotion towards yes. the divinity and acknowledgement. Thank you very much for uh, highlighting that point. Second thing is learning is for the enlightenment. It's very true, sir, that enlightenment we required in our life throughout our life and their life. That is what Guru taught us. Thank you very much for that also. So one thing I want to talk in Malayalam also, that is uh, uh, something... Before, uh, I, I would like to... I would, I would like all of you to... It is a continuous process. We have to practice that to see, to meet eternal truth at last. That is what Guru has shown us the light. Thank you very much. Perfect. There was somebody who was speaking in the middle, I think. Was that you, sir? No, I just wanted to wonder all the the participants of this to know and appreciate the great work that Jija is doing. I think, I don't know how many of you know about her. As an officer who served Karnataka State, I was very happy when she joined a person from Kerala. It was the first deputy police officer. And the way she conducted herself as an officer, as in a human being, has won the praise of all people who have come to know her. And as a person from uh, uh, Kerala, and as a person who had the Srinarana Guru's uh, inspiration, I was very happy and proud, and I meant that pride and happiness about uh, Pooja. And she's doing a wonderful work in spreading the message of Pooja. I would like to close it with, uh, with a song. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yes, please. You are not talking. I think this is the essence of his message. He was, that was his dream, that this must be, uh, this this country, our our society, the world must be a Madhurgasthanam, where there is no caste, there is no community, and all people live as brothers and sisters. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any any other questions, please? I, they kept being some interruptions, so I have muted people whose mics were unmuted. There are a few uh, that I cannot uh, mute, but so please unmute and ask questions, please. Thank you, Vim. I'm Mohanan from Chilong. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome, welcome. Okay, thank you so much, Alexandra sir. I'm speaking from Chilong, the Northeast. We are really very happy oh. to hear you. I'm also from earlier Kollam district, no, Patanam <laughs> Oh, I see. How uh, did you but go to Sri Lanka? I I would like to I would like to say something about Mr. Mohanan. He is a one man army um, uh, 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 creating followers, groups of followers in the northeast. His headquarters in, is in Shillong and she he has got he doesn't have any other Malayali there as, as I understand. He is married to a Kathi girl and he has got a huge band of of so Sri Narayana Guru created there and they have even visited Shivagiri many times and wearing Assamese dress they have uh, they have performed in Shivagiri. Not only that sir, he is responsible for um, the um, translation of uh, uh, David Ashagam into English one translation, I am sure many translations are there, but it, it was, the band has rendered it in such melody you would be i'll send that to you sir you would really as a person who appreciates music and as a singer uh, mr alexander you sir dr alexander sir you will really appreciate it i will send it i'll pers personal message that it thank to you, you sir. 
Yeah, it is really, really Mr. wonderful. Mr. Bhavan, what are you doing from northeast? Uh, thank you so much, madam. <laughs> so we Mr. have Mr. 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 And he is a, he, he knows Mr. Musa Hari and uh, uh, other people who we also know. We have a lot of I mean uh, many people from the service that we know. He also who are from the northeast. He also has linked up with and who have who he had invited to come and speak um, on various occasions like the Jayanti and Samadhi Day and things like that. Wonderful work he is doing. All the people who are assembled here are uh, speaking to us. Uh, from their own homes in various parts of the country, and uh, uh, I should thank Mr. Rakhunandan and many others, Shah and many others who have invited all these people. But it is really, really so um, heartening that we can speak from Bangalore, from wherever we are, and can reach. Uh, so your speech, your message has reached the hearts of many, many people across the country. It is really, really heartening, and thank you very much from my side personally, and from Guru Anugraham also, that you were able to come and spend some time. I know that I have dragged you away from another meeting, and but I know that I you have come willingly. I was in a, I was in a board meeting. <laughs> yes, yes, I know that, sir. We will. Uh, if any, no more questions. I think Molo, you could just uh, formally thank Dr. Madam, see our Muhammad sir is there. He is the president of uh, our confederation of Sri Narayana Guru organization. You may ask him to say a few words. At least the first time he has joined us, no? And again, I would like to tell Alexander sir, sir, I am doing a small business over here. You are most welcome to Shiloh. Any time, if you have got the opportunity... No, I, I have come to Shiloh. I have come to Shillong several times. That's okay, a beautiful okay. place. And when okay. I come next, I will definitely see you. Definitely. And uh, there are, I am sure you know, there are many Malayalis. There are many Malayalis in the Don Bosco's organization. Yeah, I am very much connected with everyone. Our uh, uh, yeah. Jacob Sar was the uh, governor here for uh, almost 12 years. And the Mushahari was here for five years. And I have yes, taken yes. Governors also from here to there. I even keep it Srinivasan. I invited him to Shillong and he gave a speech on Srinarayana Guru like that. And even we have uh, translated yes. Devadha Chagam into Kashi language. That was translated by the Chief Secretary of Meghalaya, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> so, in that way, at least we are yeah. trying to spread the message of Srinarayana Guru, the oneness. And we also have a publication of oneness in English. So I'm giving all over here, and it is going across the country also. Thank you so much for talking to you, sir. Mr. Muhammad, would like you would you like to say a few words and uh, introduce uh, SNGC to the to the chief guest, Mr. Muhammad? This is a very 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 happy day for everyone of us who joined here who was hearing Dr. Alexander. Uh, my wife also used to take uh, his speech from YouTube and they used to uh, make me to listen. Yes, oh. listen, listen, to me, listen. So I was very happy he was joining today. And we are on behalf of uh, entire Sri Narayana Guru organizations in India and abroad. Uh, uh, we used to thank him and uh, his uh, advices we are heard wholeheartedly. And uh, we will definitely uh, wish to hear him in future or also that is one secondly madam you are very grateful for the uh, uh, for the help for the suggestions extended to uh, corpus fund of university mumbai university that is uh, there are uh, 10 uh, philosophical uh, uh, philosophy philosophy subjects uh, imparting in mumbai university uh, starting from uh, Sri Shankaracharya, uh, a lot many people. So Gautam Buddha, so philosophy. But Sri Narayana Guru philosophy, we have uh, just requested the university to include in that, and they have agreed. Now it is just uh, just coming September. It is going to start that. So uh, we have to make a, a syllabus for uh, Guru's uh, subject. 
and uh, we have to give uh, one pro rupee for corpus fund. That is about 70 lakhs we have already collected, balance about 30, 30 lakhs left. Uh, I think definitely Guru will bless us. Yes, yes sir, definitely, definitely. Guru, Gurus, <laughs> definitely, I am sure, I am bold enough, I can do it. And if further we will continue to uh, implement to other universities as well. That is what I want to explain to you all. Thank you very much for your cooperation. We will meet again. Definitely, we will all personally give and also uh, request others to give. And perhaps we could uh, also request uh, uh, our chief guest today, our speaker today, Dr. Alexander, to uh, extend a helping hand also in this. I, on our behalf of all the people, uh, 35 of us assembled here, I would like to make that request to Dr. Alexander. Also, he can, he can definitely help us a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank uh, you very much. Ma'am, ma ma excuse ma me. I have a ma 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 I have a formal request. All, you, all of you, eminent people, have to come forward to help and to advise uh, to Sri Narayana Guru Universal Confederation. Uh, in future. So we will come forward with the proposals. Uh, we request uh, that you all will cooperate with us. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank uh, you very Madam. much. Madam. Thank you so much. Your uh, fingers, you said, have left their imprints all over uh, all of the departments that you touched. We're happy to say that you have come and left your ethereal impression on our group of Anugraham as well. So, uh, from on behalf of everybody at Guru Anugraham from our side, thank you for taking time away from your board meeting and coming and uh, sharing with us your experiences and your deep connection. As always, thank you to everybody from across the country, Shillong to Pune, uh, north to south, who have also come and joined us. Uh, as we go along, we get marginally better every time, depending on tech problems. Uh, but you know, this is a journey. So, but thank you so much. We had a wonderful session with you and really appreciate your taking the time out to come and join us. Anybody else who wants to say thank you are free to welcome and say thank you. Now you can hand over the mic. To <laughs>